Hey divas, long time no see. Oh, I know, I've been away for a little bit. Um, I have no excuses, I was just away. <laughs> so anywho, let me go ahead and jump into a Butterbee Scraps Design Team Projects. And yes, lady, it is all jewelry. So for those of you who like to see the jewelry, please stay tuned. For those of you who are just like, eh, not so much, that's okay. You can go to the next and click over. And no hurt feelings because I won't even know. So anyway, let me go ahead and show you the products that I used and then I'll jump into what I made. Okay, now Monique has these inside of her store. Come on, camera. I really don't want to take everything out of their bags because it's always so much drama to put them back in. There we go. Okay, these are little um, kind of like ID bracelets that says where there's a will, there's a way. And all of them say that. And there is a total of four in each bag, okay? And that is the number. Okay, and then we have these right here. You get a boatload of these leaves inside the bag. And they are tiny. Okay, and snapshot that. And then we have these bead caps. I only used one of them. And because these ones right here, you really want the bigger stones and bigger pearls. You can't really use the small ones for that one. But upcoming, these ones are perfect for the small ones. And I'll show you the up close when I'm, I used a lot of these. Oopsie. And there. That. And I used these. There's that. And this right here, without showing the project I did, these little filigree balls is what this is. Okay. So you get a total of five of those big size ones in here. I used all of them. And then this one, I'm going to show you in an upcoming project because I have none left. That's the number and I'm going to show you. These are copper filigree pieces. What I did is they were like long pieces and I fussy cut the piece of filigree that I wanted that was in the middle. These are the end pieces. I'm not going to keep these. I'm not going to reuse those. But I wanted to show you that I did some fussy cutting on some metal. Who would have thunk, huh? <laughs> okay, so let me show you the earrings that I made using these. And there we go. Okay. Okay, so I used my own little fish hooks that I purchased from Joann's. And I do have, for these kind right here, you see they're not, well, any type of the fish hooks ones, I always put the plastic little um, pieces on the back here, which I do have them. I just didn't put them on yet. But I will put those on there because these do tend to fall out. Fish hooks don't, are not really sturdy. So see how fun? I hung it on a piece of chain. So I have a piece of chain here, then I hung one at the bottom, and then I counted up like three links, and then stuck one on each side of the link, three more links, and then a set, and then a set, and then a set. So there's a total of nine leaves I used on one earring. So they're just dangles. Uber cute, right? I love it. Okay, so those are earrings. Then, with these two, I made these bracelets. Okay, so I use this. This is my own chain. And mind you, my design team package is coming and I ordered some chain. She does carry chain in her store, ladies. That was like one of my requests. And I hope that some of you ladies had it too because she put it in there quick. Thank you, Monique. I was super duper excited. Um, it's very difficult to find chain in bronze or um, copper and oh no, I'm sorry, bronze. So, um, and I'm just super excited that she has that in her store. So, check it out, ladies. So I hung a few, a couple charms, and then I did the other side like this. 
using those bead caps. Are they not uber stinking cute? And these are pink. These are a light pink pearl that's in here. Of course, the camera's not going to show because it it's like really, really light. And then I just used a lobster claw. So super easy, really cute and dainty. I love it. I love how it came out. It's really super cute. So I did one here and I did it in white. Okay, and this is just like a milk glass AV type crystal. And I just hung the same pearl that was here. So I don't know if you can see, but yeah, you can. In the camera, they look the same. <laughs> I promise you, this is white. And this one's pink and it's obvious in person but any hoot so how stinking cute to make some bracelets you don't have to do it this way that's what i wanted them for was to make these bracelets because they're super fun cute and just awesome okay moving on now using this where i did not have the little their filigree balls that are in there i went ahead and created a necklace I didn't want it to be over the top because some people love over the top and that's awesome. And then a lot of people, you know, would like just something that's simple. That's not um, too much. So for those that are not the too much, this is for you. These are so beautiful. Super duper beautiful. I love it. It really hurt my heart to use every single one of them. <laughs> <laughs> but that's okay I know where I can get more and then I did some matching earrings I used fish hook the fish hooks on here too and these ones I did in a, like a triangular I used the same chain throughout all my jewelry which is for my own personal stash so once I get Monique's chain I'll be using that so I used some more of my AB milk glass and I used some of Monique's bead caps, uber stinking cute. And then I have this just on one of the, um, I think they're called eye pins. And that's it. It's really stinking easy. I love how that came out. And this does, it hangs low, but not uber low. So I figured since these earrings are kind of, you know, a little, I want to say maybe a little more dramatic with wearing it with this, it's like the perfect piece because this one isn't too much. So there's the necklace and the earrings. Super. Okay. Carry on. Last set using these. The remaining of these and these bigger um, bead caps. Okay, so let's show you the earrings first. Okay. Okay, now this copper, if you can see, this is bronze and this filigree is copper. And I fussy cut this out of the long filigree piece. So those are the end pieces over there, and that's what I and I used glossy accents to adhere everything. I didn't have E6000 in reach, so I just used that, in which it actually works very well. These are some embellishment pieces that I purchased super long ago, and I think the name was her name was Joy, and she had an Etsy store, Art Angel, something like that. Joy, if you're still subscribed to my video and you watch it and your store's still open, please go ahead and um, pop that information below because I honestly, I purchased these years ago. And um, they were already made like this with the pearls and the, this whole top piece right here was already um, purchased that way. And then I just adhered it with glossy accent. And then I went ahead and added little dangles. And these are my own, the, the lever back tops which are also purchased from Joann's so those are the earrings and then this is the necklace using the same exact piece here but this is how I have it so that it hangs from the front this way love it so that was the one bead cap that I used <laughs> because this is a bigger pearl so it needs something like that so that it sits pretty on top 
love it love it and then I just have um, these right here which was also purchased from Monique store which I do not have the packaging because this is what I purchased so when I purchased her stuff I didn't keep the past plastics and I just kept shoving them in my personal little Butterbee scrap stash but now when I get the design, the design team items, let's slow down, Anna, um, I keep them in here. So, but that's where those came from. Yay, super pretty. Okay, so this is my jewelry project for Butterbee Scraps. I will have her information below. Go and take a sneak peek, ladies, and uh, show some love. To the other designers, we have Teresa and we have Heidi. They are both um, Spellbinder designers. They're bloggers. So um, everything that they do is definitely on the blog. So um, I believe I'm the only one that does YouTube and Monique. Monique does YouTube also. So have some fun with these ladies. These are super cute. Love these bracelets. So thank you so much for stopping by. I so appreciate all the love from all of you ladies. And I will be back shortly. I was actually, I was working on a really, I was working on four shadow boxes for um, a loved one that had passed. And that took an, a lot of my time working on those and completing those. So I know that drifted me aside. So you know, and those ones I cannot film. I cannot show any of those. So, um, you won't see them, <laughs> but that's okay. I am back and I have other stuff that I would like to show. I have actually a, another swap that I'm working on. So I'll be showing you that soon, ladies. So you guys have a beautiful day and, um, I will see you soon. Mucho hugs, ladies. Bye.